We have an example problem here. Three long wires parallel to the x-axis carry currents as shown. If I is 3 amps, what is the force on a 1.5 meter long segment of the top wire? Okay, if you've been watching the example videos I've made, you've seen this picture before, but it was a different question before. Before we were asking for the magnetic field at the origin, so all three wires were creating a magnetic field at the origin, but this question wants to know the force. There's going to be a magnetic force on each of the wires. So the magnetic force due to parallel wires looks like this. So mu naught I1, I2 times the length of the wire over 2 pi d where D is specific, specifically due to the, or D is the distance between the wires. So this top wire is going to experience a force from wire in the middle. So wire one and wire two because they're carrying current in opposite directions, they're going to repel. I know this by reading the paragraph in the test notes above this equation. It says parallel wires with current moving in the same direction attract each other. If the current is in opposite directions, the wires will repel each other. That means the top wire, because that's what I'm wanting to find the force on, is this top wire. Repelling means this top wire is going to experiencing a force away from wire two. I'm just gonna call this F2, just to think about it being the force that wire two specifically is exerting on wire one. So force on top wire by wire two. That was supposed to be a circle around the two. We can calculate this. Our top equation, we know mu naught is four pi I'm getting a lag again, sorry about that. My computer is slowing down. So my head, I remember the exact value of mu naught. You can also put in the rounded value. I1 is going to be the top wire. So it is labeled with 4i, so 4 times 3 amps is going to be 12 amps. So 12 amps, I2 is the current in this second wire, this will be 9 amps, so 3 times 3, so 9 amps. L comes from the wording of the problem. There's nothing in the picture to tell us how long these wires are. But the question wants to know the force on a 1.5 meter long segment of the top wire. So that's the length we need to put in, is the 1.5 meters. 2 pi d is the distance between these two wires. So the top wire is located at 2. The bottom wire is located at negative one, so those are just the coordinates at which they're at. So this is three meters apart. So that's what I put in for D, is that three meters. So let's see, I can simplify this a little bit. The two pi can make that be two. The three can make this be three. So 
two exponent of the seven. So one point zero eight times ten to the negative five newtons. This force has a specific direction because we've been given a coordinate system. I can go ahead upwards is the positive y direction. So F2 is in the positive j hat direction. Now that's not the only force the top wire experiences. It also experiences a force because of the bottom wire. So if I call this wire three, wire three, just ignore wire two now. Because wire three is here, it's gonna exert a force on wire one as well. As we look at the direction, that is drawn in the picture, wire one and wire three are exerting, or sorry, both carrying currents in the same direction. So if I go back to the test notes, parallel wires with current moving in the same direction will attract each other. Well, attract means this top wire is getting pulled towards wire three. I'm just gonna use F3 to designate it and distinguish it from F2. So this is gonna be the force on the top wire due to wire three. So they attract, this force points downwards. We use the same equation, but we're going to be plugging in some different numbers. Mu naught's the same. The current in the top wire is still 12 amps, but now we need the current in the bottom wire. This is labeled as just I, so it needs to be this three amps. So top wire, this is the I1, this is I3. We just need to put the current of both wires that we're talking about in. The length we've been asked to find it on in the problem is the 1.5 meters. Divide by 2 pi d. d times d is from the top wire to the bottom wire. So 2 meters above the origin to 3 meters below the origin is going to be 5 meters. And that's what we want to put in, is the 5. So plugging in the numbers. I'm getting 2.16 times 10 to the negative sixth. This will be in Newtons, but this force is downward, so that would be the negative J hat direction. So the overall force that the top wire experiences is the vector sum of these two vectors. So 1.08 times 10 to the negative fifth minus, because this is in the negative direction, negative y direction, So essentially, I'm factoring out the Newtons and the J-hat. That leaves a negative 2.16 and then the 1.08. Getting an answer of, okay, we only have two sig figs, so I'm going to round this, 8.6 times 10 to the negative six newtons j hat. 
or we could totally say 8.6 micronewtons, j hat, that's fine too. But the overall direction is the positive y direction, which ho hopefully makes sense. F2, this one's bigger than the other force. So the overall force that top wire experiences is still upwards or positive y direction upwards. So when you're giving directions, make sure to be specific, especially if they give you a coordinate system, give your direction in terms of the coordinate system unless they ask for something different. So similar to the last section, make sure you read the questions carefully to make sure you're answering the actual question. So here we were looking for a force on one of the wires. When we saw this picture before, we were looking for the magnetic field somewhere due to all three wires.